Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, right, there's a company that operates out of Poland. Uh, there's Alec, Conrad and Pima. That's the name he goes by in all the Facebook groups and so on. Um, now they make up Vixet and uh, they basically, they do a few things. Uh, a lot of people will have heard of them because of the, the caps. They do top caps for various atties. Uh, I know you've got like the, the Hadley and you've got the Narda caps and they do some other stuff as well. Uh, they also do mods and this is one of them. I've had this for quite some time now. This is the stereo. Uh, now this, as I said, this has been out for a while. They do have a new one coming out, which is this. This is a stereo BF and I'll be showing you both of these close up. Now, I'll get this out of the way at the start and it shall never be mentioned again. Those of you that expect to be able to buy a mod, bang, hit a button and it turn up a few days later, this is not for you. This is not how this land works. It just doesn't. Um, these are three guys that have full-time jobs. They do this as a hobby business, if you like. Um, so they're not made in big numbers. You have to join a Facebook group. You have to hang about. You have to ask questions. You have to jump through all the hoops to try and get a hold of one. That is just the way it is. Uh, and yeah. I'm sorry, but that's what you have to go through if you want to get one of these things. And the people that do tend to go after these things are aware of that and, and live with it. But I just wanted to make that clear because I know it's not for everybody. Um, if it's not for you, that kind of things, then just, yeah, just fast forward, have a look at it up close and see how pretty it is. The pricing, the pricing is going to scare a lot of people away as well. Um, I mean, you are looking at for this, the stereo, you are looking about four hundred and fifty dollars. They do, a, I think they do an aluminium one that's three hundred and fifty dollars, but this is stab wood, and the stab wood uh, squonking version is five hundred and fifty dollars. Yes, expensive stuff, expensive stuff. But as I said, that's that's some of the finer things in life, and I'm just one jammy twat in a shed that's getting to play with these and show them off to you. So close-ups. Right, I'll start you off with the, the standard stereo which is a DNA 75 mod. You've got a fire button and you've got a rocker switch up here and it's called the stereo. So if I push the fire button, start her up, loading and there we go. And hopefully, you know, stereo, it's a stereo cassette. You know, you've got the big buttons going on here. That's what it refers to. Now, as I said, this is stab wood. Uh, spring loaded 510 up the top. Uh, I, there's not a lot that I've got to tell you about this other than, yeah, just soak it in. It is a really, really nice mod in my opinion and I've thoroughly enjoyed using this. Uh, now the up and down button, I just it's on a rocker here and it is quite a large button but if I just push it down in the middle that's it unlocked and I know I'm upside down here, my apologies. There you go, you just up and down. It's just a DNA 75. Uh, your fire button, you can see you've got a light going on underneath there. You see it's changing colour. And of course you can change that in eScribe. But it's it's just absolutely gorgeous. You're looking about 90mm here, about 46.5 across here. And you will get a 25mm tank on top of here, no problem at all. Changing the battery out, I mean it's just a case of sticking your fingers in there and spinning away. I like this little custom thing. It did take me a while to get used to this. It's not, to start off with, it's not the easiest to get on and off, but uh, once you get used to it, it's no problem. Uh, but but that's just the the stereo by Vixet. Right, I'll show you the new one. Now this is the stereo BF, or well I think you can figure out what the BF stands for. Uh, squonky squonky time. Uh, so down the bottom we've got the same setup going again. We've got one for the bottle and one for the battery. It's a single 18650 and DNA 75. We do have the same buttons going on. You know, get the lights here. And once again you can change that in eScribe. Uh, spring loaded 510 up squonk pin up the top here. We have the Vixet logo. This is an aluminium frame. 
uh, we have a piece of stab wood sitting in here and <laughs> it's pretty sweet uh, just to give you a comparison here there's the two of them together and of course both have got a USB on the front now when this came to me it did come with a, a black super soft bottle uh, which it was to look good on the frame when matching the black in the frame and uh, I like to be able to see my juice level so I've changed it out for this is a, a mod maker um, bottle that you can get in the UK uh, but the, the top cap I've retained and you can see that it uses this this is a, like a, a thick pipe section here and your tube runs up the middle so there's no issues with actually locating this onto the nozzle uh, so there we are we've got the, the bottle out so I just push it in there and boink that's it job done now this is a brand new bottle and it's the only real issue that I've had with this device so far I do have to wait until the the juice has got down quite low if I try pulling it down it doesn't really work I have to use one of my vape grips to just get on it and it's slight and it'll come down or because it's low I can pinch the bottle and pull it down and it comes out no problem but uh, talking to Pima and, and he was saying that you know as time goes by and the bottle breaks in he said it has took two to three weeks and then it goes in and out no problem but as it comes brand new, uh, it has been a bit of a pain in the ass getting the bottle in and out. And there we go, here's our screw for the bottom and that just pops on like so and you can just thread it back down. Let's say I, I do have the same issue that I have with the other stereo is it, it does take a bit of time to get used to these. I mean almost like a, a big coin sits in there and spins it no problem but using your fingers there is a definite knack to it. I do have to say that. That's me got a, a Narda on top and that's one of uh, the, their UFO type style caps that uh, Vixet do as well. Uh, height's the same as the last one, I mean you're looking at it's about 58.4mm across here and you're looking at 24mm across the top and once again that's the Vixet logo. Um, yeah it's a wide boy, it, it really is a wide boy this one, there's no getting away from that. And I mean just comparing it to something like the, the Dia, um, you can see there that yeah, there is a bit of a size difference going on there as well. It's it, it's not a small mod. It's not small. Both mods did actually come with uh, one of these, um, this company here. Uh, these little vape holster type things, uh, which are, it's not my kind of thing. It's not, I wouldn't use something like this personally. But uh, the fact that it does come in something like that, you know, it's, it's nice. It's really nice. Um, Okay, the mods themselves, how have I been getting on with them? Uh, the, the squonker I've only had for a few days, um, but to put it quite simply, uh, it is the stereo, a bit wider, with uh, an 8.5mm bottle of juice in it that you squonk with. It's made to the same standard. I'll start, I was going to launch off into a waffle there, but we'll, I'll just get the negatives out of the way. This is my humble opinion these are the negatives that I have with these devices um, battery caps taking the ba taking them off there is a, def a definite knack to it uh, the design uh, is beautiful and it, if you get a big coin in there or something like that they unscrew no problem but for me with big fat ass fingers there is a definite knack to it and aside from that I only have one other negative and that's to do with the squonker uh, and it's, I don't know if it's a negative um, now your button here it's a big old button and, and that's part of the design you know the stereo you know the cassette thing and, and I love that about it but when you squonk and I mentioned this in my vlog is that this button goes into the cusp of your hand you have to or I would strongly recommend if you get one of these you have to lock the wattage you, you have to lock it. If you don't, you will find you will end up adjusting it with your hand there because of the size of the button. But because of the style of the button, you just hold it in for a couple of seconds and it will lock the wattage. And it's never an issue after that. But it's the, the only thing, the only negative really, aside from the battery cap, that I can give to you. 
possibly the size as well. It's not small. It's not a small mod. It's not massive. It's not really, really big in the grand scheme of things. Uh, and the size does make it actually quite comfortable to hold and vape with. Uh, actually, I should have a vape instead of talking. It really is beautiful. Um, so there's the, the two of them again. Boink. Uh, positives for me. <laughs> now I talked about this in my vlog as well. So those of you that watch my vlogs will just shut it off now. Um, for me, these are, whilst these are made in house, limited numbers, they're not mass produced or anything like that. These are as close, they are quality wise, they are, you would almost think they are mass produced. There are no gaps, there are no blemishes, there are, there's, there's nothing, nothing that you can fault either of these on finish wise. It's probably about the best finish I've seen on any artisan type mods. Um, they are just flawless. I did mention that I almost did find that as a bit of a negative because I like the little flaws and things that identify these because that you take it as for granted that these things that are made in small little numbers and people's workshops and sheds and all this kind of stuff tend to have some kind of little flaw in them. Uh, but these are flawless. They're just gorgeous. They're really good. I mean, they're so, so well made. And as such, it just, I haven't, I don't have anything else to say to you. I really don't. The actual, the stereo, the standard stereo, I've had for a couple of months now. And it's so bloody comfortable. This rounded section here that just fits in the cusp of your hand. And the big firing button, it's just perfect. Really, really like it. And the BF um, and the crazy, crazy colours, this orange is just so out with what I would normally like uh, but <laughs> it's just I'm going to shut up now I'll shut up they are flawless mods uh, they are pretty flawless um, and that's it uh, thank you to all the guys uh, that make up Vixet um, for sending these on and letting me have a look at them once again, if you are interested in the slightest, go along, join the Facebook group. The link shall be in the description. And give them a shout. Uh, they'll chew your ear off. They talk for ages, a lot of them, and they're nice guys. And um, and that's it from me. One jammy fat twat in a shed, haven't I? <laughs> right, we'll catch you later. Cheers, guys. Bye now.